Hey yo. <laughs> hey yo. Basketball, football, Dallas Cowboys, Imperial, Doghead, Fish Scales, Beer. Welcome back. For those who don't know me, I am your host E, and on this channel, we rate beers. And for the beer that we have today that I got from the Dogfish Brewing Company, it's called the United Mini Imperial IPA. Almost at a stop. But it's a 9% alcohol by volume, and let's go ahead and see what this uh, brewery has to say about this beer. Continually hopped throughout the entire boil and balanced by powerful malt, backbone, and an backbone pungent, not crushing hop flavor. So we're going to go ahead and just put this beer here on this side. You know what? What I just realized, I don't even know if it's a twist top. So we're going to go ahead and pause it right here. On this going to get pinche. I'm back. Surprise, motherfucker. Look, I got a knife. I couldn't <laughs> I couldn't find a, my bottle opener. So let's see if this works. By the way, let me show you how to open a bottle without having a bottle opener. You put your finger underneath any object, any object, and you press it up against the cap. And then you just go like this, but make sure your finger, index finger, whatever finger you use, is very tight or I guess stiff and then you just uh, you just do this well this side's not good so we're gonna bust out the, the sharp side if you cut yourself you're fucked you know what I don't even know why I'm doing this this way ah oh, whatever voila God, that was scary I should have used my uh, white claw I mean yeah it's a white claw yeah, don't buy white class though. They're not good. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and pour this out and we're gonna see how the pour is. I got my GoPro down here, so maybe it'll look nice. Let's go ahead and do it right now. Oh, okay, you know what? I was expecting for some reason a very lighter color tone to it, but I guess it makes sense if it's an Imperial. And if it's an IPA, I was you know, kind of meshed with the golden and darker kind of color tones to it. Yeah, this part just totally screwed up. So we're gonna wait until that sits down and we're gonna see if it has some more information on this beer. Our continually hopped Imperial IPA whose powerful malt backbone stands up extreme hopping rate for a pungent, non crushy hop flavor. I already said that and that's already, um, whatever. But this six pack here, it comes out to cost you at least about $15 plus tax. So it's a very hefty price for a six pack. Usually when that comes, that's the case, it's because either the beer itself is a large alcohol by volume or because of what kind of things to put in it. So um, if it's an Imperial uh, IPA, I do think that's going to rank up on price a bit because the other six packs usually go for very from 10 to 12. So this one's on the higher bit of those prices, but maybe it's worth it. Usually the higher beers that I've seen that I have bought that I normally go from $15 high, they have a significant type of robust flavor that gives it the hump that you need whenever you have the kick for the beer. Um, so I'm expecting that. Right now, if I'm being honest, I do not smell the flavor. I mean, I, I don't smell the, the aroma right off the bat whenever I poured it. Um, so maybe it just has a little bit of a less notes than I expected from hops, from the hops it has. Uh, but yeah, it has a nice, yeah, a nice, relaxed scent smell to it and I actually I enjoy that smell because it doesn't overbear all the other smells in my room so I would give this smell a literally a four in my option my opinion anyways let's continue what am I doing I'm just waiting for it to pour down because I want to chug it I haven't drank all day Ugh, my, my reviews are always long so without further ado cheers it's a nice nice thick head by the way I like it it's a nice thick head I don't know if you can see uh, viewers out there, let me pour it closer to you. The video, let me pour it closer. Let me put it closer to the camera. It's a nice kind of a uh, color, right? And the, the head is nice. So let's go ahead and just just dive into this whole bitch. Mmm. Oh, that's smooth. That's so smooth. Mmm. You can just barely get the hops. Uh, you can barely get the hints of the hops in it. Um, yeah, the, the, the malt, I could taste like malt and malt in it, kind of like a, oh, it's like, it's just enough bitterness where it feels unique 
for an IPA. I, like I said, I think it's the Imperial part of it. Because um, every time I think Imperial, I think Imperial Stouts. And I think it kind of meshes in together with the Imperial and the IPA. They just kind of blend well where it's not too sweet. Or, you know, you know how you get those IPAs, you can get kind of a, like a soury flavor sometimes. Or like more of a tropical flavor of notes in it. So this one for me, like it goes in, it, it blends in smoothly where it's malty and bitter, but at the same time refreshing, if that makes any sense. But it has, it has this distinct earthly flavor and I can't get my arms around it. I'm sure, let me see what it has here. Um, yeah, no, I, yeah, it has, the, the, the hops are just silent there. They're there, but they're not, like I said, it doesn't come out off the tongue right off the, right off the bat. If anything, it's just the flavor of the bitterness that comes out more. But it feels, it's kind of, if you drink a stout, it feels like it's kind of a, like a lighter uh, version of a stout. But you know, but, but when you're drinking it, it feels like an IPA. I, I'm technically talking out of my ass right now. So I feel, <laughs> I feel like I am making sense, but then I'm not. But it's, it's been a long time since I reviewed the beer. Uh, I would say like almost a month. But for the overall, for the, for, the fla- for the smell, I would give it a four. For the flavor, I would give it a four. For the beer overall, I would give it a 4.4. I'm going to give them more fours. 4.4.4. So I highly recommend this Dogfish uh, Brewery beer, uh, the 90 minute, 90 minute Imperial IPA. Uh, Dogfish, what I've seen lately, they, they have very unique flavors. And so far, all the ones I've been getting that I IPA wise and hazy and um, regular beers, uh, they've been they've been great. But guys, let me know what y'all think if y'all ever try the Imperial IPA or if it's in your local brewery or in your local state, wherever you get your beers at. Let me know in the comments down below. Anyways, guys, appreciate you joining me, joining me, and uh, I'll see you guys uh, whenever I see y'all.